people what's up so today's video is going to be answering the question do game designers need to know any game engine now this is a really really important question and if you're looking to be a game designer you may be asking yourself do i need to know unity or unreal or godot or any kind of game engine to be a good game designer and in this video i'm going to be answering this question in great detail so let's go i'm rahul sagal the founder of game to maker and a game maker with over 15 years of experience and now i'm going to tell you about the connection between game design and game engines so first a quick overview about what a game designer actually does now the game designer's job basically is that they have the game already ready in their head they know what the game is they know what the story is they know what the gameplay they know what the controls are they know what the difficulty curves are like they know what the mechanics are they know exactly what the player is going to do they have that in their head and their job is to actually transmit that information to the artists and to the programmers also most importantly it's their job to actually build the game world now the reason why knowing a game engine is actually quite useful is that there are several reasons behind this firstly prototyping to be a really really good game designer you should be actually able to take a basic game idea and prototype it now you don't have to be a programmer don't get me wrong you don't need to learn how to write code like me i'm a good game designer i don't know how to write code but i do now know how to make a prototype and in today's world you can use game engines that don't require coding so if you know unreal if you know unreal blueprint you can actually throw together a pretty good prototype now what's a prototype prototype is basically the core of a game what are the main mechanics what is the core experience of this game you can put it together in just a few days and you can play around with it and you can have some fun and you can find out if it's worth doing if it feels good if it feels fun so a good game designer should be able to prototype his or her game idea this is really really important and if you know some kind of game engine if you know scripting visual scripting uh, for example in unreal like in game to maker all our game designers actually are taught unreal as well so that when it's time to make their project they can actually build it themselves prototyping super important and if you know a game engine especially a game engine which requires no coding then you can actually build a prototype and that is a really really good skill to have as a game designer next up level design now level design is basically game world design what you're doing is that you're creating the entire game world the artists are going to be creating all the props all the houses the trees all the stuff that goes into the game world and the programmer is actually going to be creating all the functionality which is the jumping, the running, and the shooting, all that, all that kind of thing. And you as a game designer, also remember that level design is a subset of game designer. You have to be a games designer first, and then you can be a level designer. So level designer's job is to actually take all this stuff, take the functionality, take the assets that the game artist has created and actually put it into the level so for example you, as a lev as a level designer you're going to be placing a spawn point and then you'll be going to be creating buildings and you're going to be creating a path for the player to go through you're going to be creating triggers you're going to be creating spawn points you're going to be actually placing the triggers where the cinematics are going to be triggered all that stuff the moment to moment experience of the player in the game world is created by the level designer and for that you know you need to know the game engine you can't actually create that unless you know the game engine you don't have to know how to code it but you actually have to know the ui you have to know the drag and drop functionality how to place things how to place triggers and all that kind of stuff is very very important so you do need to have some degree of knowledge and use and experience on the particular game engine to actually be a level designer next up communication now if you know the game engine you'll actually be able to communicate with the developers and programmers who are also using the game engine if you don't know the game engine you're going to be like a fish out of the water and when they're talking about the game engine in unity when they're talking about prefab and this and that you'd be you will have no idea what's happening so it's very very useful to actually know the game engine to be able to communicate with the different people they could be the technical artists they could be the uh, the programmers 
who are going to be using the game engine. So once again, knowing the game engine to some level is very, very important. So also it's very, very important to know the different kind of game engines. So you may be asking Rahul, which game engine should I choose? Now, the question here is what your goal is. For example, if you want to get a job in India, then Unity is a really, really good game engine because most of the work in India is on mobile games and on mobile games, they use Unity. So if you want to be a game designer in India, in the Indian job market and get a job, especially in mobile game industry, then knowing Unity is actually a pretty good idea. They also have their own visual scripting language. Also, Unreal has a scripting language. However, Unreal is not that widely used in India. I mean, ideally, if you know a little bit about both engines, that's absolutely great. But if you had to choose one, particularly for the Indian market, I would actually go with Unity at this particular point. Also, knowing a game engine opens up the entire world of indie game development so if you're actually thinking about starting your own studio doing something on your own bringing your own ideas to life in a video game then you have to know a video game engine and it's like you use it once and later on you can come back to it it's like riding a bicycle like i used unreal for the first time when i was in vancouver film school and i can still open up unreal and i will still know a little bit so if you want to go and start your own game studio be independent you know, explore things as a game designer, always know a game engine in some depth. Lastly, employment opportunities. Game companies always love versatility. So if you're a game designer, of course, you should be able to, you should be good at creating documentation and diagrams and communicating with people and all the stuff that a designer does. But however, if you know the game engine as well, then that's going to be an ideal bonus. They're going to really prefer you over someone else who has never used that game engine. Lastly, let's talk about versatility and understanding. So if you're a game designer, I encourage you to learn about art as well. You should explore some 3D tools. You should know a little bit of sketching. You should know Photoshop and you should also know a little bit of coding because if you've done a little bit of coding in your life, you'll be able to actually understand what the programmers go through. So as a game designer or as any kind of game design professional, in fact, I encourage people who are programmers to also know a little bit of design, a little bit of art, because then you can actually communicate with the other people in your team. So last but not the least, whatever you are, choose a stream, whether it's design, art or programming, and also have a little bit of basic knowledge about the other streams of game development. And that's going to take you very, very far in your game career. So let's go.